MXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 15. We need to use proof by exhaustion to show that for n in the natural numbers, n smaller than or equal to 4, that n plus 1 all cubed is larger than 3 to the n. So proof by exhaustion means we take every single case and prove it, show it works for all of those cases. For us, n is in the natural numbers, so those are the integers from 1 upwards, and it's smaller than or equal to 4. So we've got four cases to work with, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, or 4. So let's start with n equals 1. Putting that into the left-hand side of our inequality, we get 1 plus 1 all cubed, which is equal to 8. The right-hand side is 3 to the power of 1, which is 3, and 8 is larger than 3. So, so far, so good. For n equals 2, we have 2 plus 1 all cubed is 27, and 3 squared is 9, and 27 is larger than 9. For n equals 3, we get 3 plus 1 all cubed is equal to 64, and 3 cubed is equal to 27, and 64 is larger than 27. And for our final case, n equals 4, 4 plus 1 all cubed is 125, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, and 125 is larger than 81. So we've shown all four cases, it's worked for all of them, Therefore, n plus 1 all cubed is larger than 3 to the power of n for all n in the natural numbers where n is smaller than or equal to 4. The second part of the question, given that m cubed plus 5 is odd, use proof by contradiction to show using algebra that m is even. So for contradiction, we're going to take m is odd, so the opposite of what we're trying to prove, if m is odd, then we can write it as 2p plus 1, where p is an integer. So putting that into our m cubed plus 5, we would get 2p plus 1 all cubed plus 5. Now we're going to expand this bracket. It's up to you how you do that. I take out a 2p plus 1 all squared, which is 4p squared plus 4p plus 1, and then multiply that by the remaining 2p plus 1. So we've got 8p cubed plus 8p squared plus 2p from the 2p times everything plus 4p squared plus 4p plus 1, plus the 5 on the end. So this all comes together to make 8p cubed plus 12p squared plus 6p plus 6. Now all of those terms have got coefficients which are multiples of 2. So let's factorise out the 2. If m cubed plus 5 is now equal to 2 times by something, then it must be even. But we're trying to prove that m cubed plus 5 is odd. So we've got a contradiction. Hence, if m cubed plus 5 is odd, then m must be even. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.